we are pulling into Alaska. Catch a can this morning. This is the view from our balcony. It is an, an obnoxiously bright five something in the morning. <laughs> All right, I'll be back. It's called a, a training pole. As you can see, the little claw marks. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. This is where a mother would bring her little infant here, put the puppy down there, and she'd walk away. Mm. She'd leave that baby crying and whining and doing their thing. But as soon as that little infant stopped everything, loses attention, you know how children lose attention span, she would actually hump up her back, flatten out her ears, and charge that baby going 35 miles an hour. And scare the jeezies out of that baby. In doing so, that baby would climb up that pole. The reason Mama wants that baby to learn to climb up that pole is a very serious one. Not a Disney around here. Mama, baby, you know, Papa does not live together. They do not stay together throughout their lives. You have Mama and baby, and you have a sperm donor. That's it, <laughs> okay? <laughs> The male bear will actually kill and eat that cub to put the female back into heat. Mm -hmm. oh, so it's out there for one reason only, because he wakes up, he needs to go to the bathroom. He needs to eat because he's hungry and he wants sex. That's the only thing the male bear wants. So the female is teaching that child for 18 to 24 months to survive. And the first thing is to climb a tree. Now this is an old version. It's a big one. A male bear can climb this tree. Don't get me wrong. They're using those little trees throughout the area. Now, everything. So salmon berries have their name as a salmon berry because the berries look like little clusters of rope. Devil's Club. Devil's Club. It's called Devil's Club. Devil's Club. Lady. So I like to cuddle up to her because, again, the natural oils is a bug repellent. Oh. During the winter time, uh, during the uh, cold days, mm -hmm. she's actually 10 degrees warmer than the outside air. So I, that's why I cuddle into her. She is a great tree. Yes, they make where? Huh? Tree monkeys. Tree monkeys. Otherwise known as zipliners. Oh yeah, two in the tree. Yeah, look, in the tree. Oh, wait. Um, let's see if I can find them with the camera now that I zoomed in. There's two bald eagles in the tree like that. Wait. In that tree. There they are, right there. Got him. Do I have any Bald questions while we're standing here just waiting a few seconds? Okay. Okay. I'd like to get a shot, so I shake me. What's that? Do you have blue bills there? That happens to be called Sarah. Sarah is short for Southern Southeast Regional Agricultural Association. And you can see it. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah. My daddy always told me so, but I didn't believe him. But they did. So, doing this. They never left anything out of our and no, they don't use it today. <laughs> no, they don't use it today. These come from, these all come from a different facility. There yeah, I got, I got some of the flight. Of the Island, yeah. Air Force, what we have. Um, this is all down there today. I don't know if you got it from him or another place here in town. 
To the back of your head. Look over here. Look straight ahead. How's everybody doing today? Good. My name is Brittany. I'm with the Alaska Raptor Center. Uh, we here in Ketchikan are an educational extension of our main facility that's located in Sitka, Alaska. It's about 200 miles northeast of here. The Alaska Raptor Center is a non-for-profit organization. We are the only full-service avian hospital in all of Alaska, and actually one of the largest in the country, too, which we're pretty proud of. Uh, all the birds that we have here in Ketchikan with us are permanent residents with the center. They've either had some sort of injury or a behavioral concern that wouldn't allow them to be released back into the wild, so they stay with us. Okay, so here we are leaving Ketchikan, Alaska. Interesting little town community. They have 35 miles of road on the whole island. Most of it is wild. Forest, bears. rainforest, bears. Rainforest, it's all rainforest. rainforest. They get a half an inch of rain here every single day of the entire year. They average between 160 to 200 inches a year. That's a whole heck of a lot of rain. Considering San Jose gets about 24 to 26 inches a year. Right? It was a cute little town, very friendly. Now we're on to the next stop. We'll be back. 